Skyscrapers seem to be adorning the skyline of every metropolitan city. And when it comes to Dubai, the one architectural marvel that stands out is the Burj Khalifa. Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. Let's get started. The Burj Khalifa, also known as the Burj Dubai, before the inauguration in 2010, is a skyscraper in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Standing tall at a total feet of 829.8 meters, or this building clearly takes the trophy away for being the tallest building in the whole wide world. The construction of the Burj Khalifa began in 2004 and the exteriors were completed within five years. The solid towering structure is made from reinforced concrete and structural steel. The building was opened in 2010 as part of a new developmental phase called Downtown Dubai. Burj Khalifa was designed to be the centerpiece of a large-scale mixed-use development that was to include 30,000 homes, nine hotels, including the address, downtown Dubai, three hectares of parkland, at least 19 residential skyscrapers, the Dubai Mall, and the 12-hectare artificial Burj Khalifa Lake. The government decided to construct the building to diversify from an oil-based economy for Dubai to gain international recognition. And boy, has it done just that. Designed by Adrian Smith from Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, the same firm that designed the Willis Tower and One World Trade Center is greatly influenced by the Islamic architecture of the region, much like the Great Mosque of Samarra. As the tower rises from the flat desert base, 27 setbacks emerge in a spiral pattern, with a decreasing cross-section of the building as it grows taller with each floor. This layered appearance of the Burj gave way to some really lovely and convenient outdoor terraces. The cladding system consists of 142,000 square meters of more than 26,000 reflective glass panels alternating with aluminum and textured stainless steel spandrel panels that are fitted with vertical tubular fins. Apart from the solar and thermal performance, the architectural glass provides an anti-glare shield from the intense desert sun, extreme temperatures, and strong winds. The glass panels alone are said to cover more than 174,000 square meters in area. The Burj's typical curtain wall panels measure 4 foot 6 inches wide by 10 foot 8 inches high and weigh about 800 pounds each, with wider panels near the building's edges and taller ones towards the top. The building is so tall that the exterior temperature at the top of the building is thought to be 6 degrees Celsius, cooler than at its base. The setbacks are arranged and aligned in a way that minimizes vibration from wind currents and vortices. At the top is where the central core emerges and is sculpted to form a finishing spire. At its tallest point, the tower is said to sway a total of 1.5 meters during windy days. The spire of Burj Khalifa is composed of more than 4,000 tons of structural steel. The central pinnacle pipe weighs 350 tons and has a height of 200 meters. The spire also houses the communications equipment of the building. This 244-meter spire is widely considered vanity height since very little space is usable. Without the spire, Burj Khalifa would be 585 meters tall. The Y-shaped, triptartite floor geometry of the Burj is perfectly designed to increase residential and hotel space. Inside is a 304-room Armani Hotel that occupies 15 of the lower 39 floors. The hotel was opened on the 18th of March 2010. The building also houses several corporate suites, offices, and an observation deck that was opened to the public on the 27th of April 2010. Floors 20 through 108 have 900 private residential apartments. According to the developer, these residences were sold out within the first eight hours of being on the market. Now, who wouldn't want to own a house in the world's tallest building? The sky lobbies on the 43rd and 76th floors house large swimming pools. An outdoor zero-entry swimming pool is located on the 76th floor of the tower. Corporate offices and suites fill most of the remaining floors, except for the 122nd, 123rd, and 124th, where the Atmosphere Restaurant, Sky Lobby, and an indoor-outdoor observation deck are located. Now, imagine Imagine how you would get around such a tall building. The tower is equipped with 57 super-fast lifts that are laid out like a vertical metro system. These lifts are regarded to be faster than a New York subway train. 
You could scale several floors within seconds. Now what an exhilarating feeling is that? In March 2009, Muhammad Ali Alabar, chairman of the project's developer, Imar Properties, said office space pricing at Burj Khalifa reached $4,000 per square foot, and the Armani residences used in Burj Khalifa sold for $3,500 per square foot. He also estimated that the total cost for the project was approximately $1.5 billion. In June 2010, Burj Khalifa was the recipient of the 2010 Best Tall Building Middle East in Africa Award by the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat. On the 28th of September 2010, Burj Khalifa won the prize for the Best Project of the Year at the Middle East Architect Awards 2010. Outside, Wet Enterprises designed the most unique and exceptional fountain system at the cost of $217 million, illuminated by 6,600 lights and 50 colored projectors the scintillating dancing fountain is 270 meters. The water pumps used in the fountain are so powerful that they can shoot water 150 meters or 500 feet into the air. Swaying to a range of classical to contemporary Arabic music, the fountain that sits along the Burj is said to be the world's largest choreographed fountain. On the 26th of October 2008, Imar announced that based on the results of a naming contest, the fountain would be called the Dubai Fountain. Nestled at the heart of downtown Dubai with the Dubai Mall and the beautiful fountain along its base, the Burj Khalifa is nothing short of a marvel. Did you know that it takes three months for 120 workers to clean the exterior glass panels of the Burj? Let us know down in the comments which facts about Burj Khalifa amazed you the most. And by the way, if you liked the video, make sure to click like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell icon to never miss an upload from us, and we'll see you in the following video. Thanks for watching.